Hello, crafty family. Poodle pack in the house. Woohoo! I am waiting for you to come in. <laughs> I'm also going insane. Officially. Today we are going to make fun stuff. We are going to make fun stuff. I'm looking for something right now. I have something sitting here. Oh, will that work? Hi. Hello, Debbie and Pauline and Tori and Shelly and Janie and Tori and Pauline. And Bertie said those already. Hello. How's everybody doing? Hello, Deborah. Another, we got Debbie and Deborah and Arlena and Jen. How's everybody doing? And Gracie and Muriel. And Luana. Is everybody having a good day so far? And another Debbie. And that's the three Debbies we have in here. We have Deborah, Debbie, and Debbie. <laughs> Nakia and Sandy. Hello, Sandy. And another Deborah. Holy moly with the Debras. I'm telling you, there's a lot of Debras in the crafting world. I do not lie. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi, Huey. Julie. Sorry. I looked at the first part of the name and not the second part of the name. Hi. Did I say hi to you, Tori? I think I did. You Debbie from Davy? <laughs> so I don't know if you saw my picture, but we're going to be making this little faux dory, and it is a laminated little faux dory. And you can obviously, I have made a book to go in it, but you could take them in and out. I also made custom lined paper that I've printed back and front line paper so that it would match with the pink lines you have a black standard poodle named Mia how cute I wish I, w I always wanted a standard poodle hi Mary So two Debras from Florida. One's from Fort Pierce and the other one is from Davy. I didn't have standards, but I had six uh, miniature and toy poodles at one time. <laughs> now I just have one, but yeah. I wouldn't have been able to do this if it wasn't for the fact that my ink came today from my printer. And it's funny because I was like, I ran out of ink like today while I was starting to print stuff out for this. And I was like, oh crap. And I'm like, oh yeah, wait a minute. My ink should already be here. And it was. It was in the mailbox. I was excited. Because I would have been upset if I wouldn't have been able to make any more. Yeah, he is a sweetheart, my Tigger. Hi, Jana. I'm glad you're able to catch me live. You've been here before, though. I, I believe. I remember your name. I could be wrong. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Lisa. So today we're going to make this little Fodori doodah. They're really cute and they're, you know, 
pretty easy to make not hard you just need some sort of paper and if you're gonna do it you don't have to laminate it but it works better if you laminate it because then you don't have to worry about like the elastic causing dents in your paper if you don't have a laminator then make it with chipboard and cover the paper like I showed how we made a journal use chipboard that's all just don't use right you know cover it like you know how yesterday we covered this piece of chipboard so you would basically make do the same thing just make it like this you know out of chipboard instead of laminating it but you know otherwise just laminate it hold on i gotta run over to my printer and start up the next set so that the paper gets finished printing in time hold on one second I've been waiting to get this all set up. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. I had to get the paper to continue printing. I had to I printed some and then I had to flip it over to print the other side. Um so that we have enough. I think we'll have enough anyway, but just to be on the safe side. All right, let's see what I want to use as my cover. I'm going to use the ones that are big enough to make a cover because I already did the flamingos and I'll probably make more fl flamingos. See, I have more flamingo paper. It's like the greener kind of aqua color. I like that one. I might use that one. I got hearts. And what else? Got another pink one. I used the pink on the inside in the paper on the inside. Let's see. What else? Uh, Paisley. That can be a, a notebook or something, but it can't be a cover. I mean, it could. I don't need to. It doesn't have to be that big to be a cover. I could just make it out of chipboard. And then, ooh, I kind of like that one. I like that one too. Is that big enough? Let me make sure. Yeah, it's big enough. Hmm. So let's do this one first. this is. Let's measure. I have to measure because I don't know what size it is. That's right. It's eight inches. Eight by six. off.
back this way. Will this go all the way? Oh yeah, I think that's exactly the size I need, actually. I think that's eight inches. by six inches. Okay. And then, so I cut the paper eight inches by six inches. And then, um, where did I score at? <laughs> three and three quarters. And on each side. So three and three quarters. From each side. Let's flip it over and do the other side. So. Is anybody doing any creating tonight? Okay. Once you get that done. Well, I'm, no, I don't need that anymore. I do need my cutter. And then we'll make a booklet. And for this one, let's see. What kind of booklets? Now this one... Just a little wider than the other one. We're gonna make it seven and a seven and a quarter. Make seven and an eighth. Seven and an eighth by six. Let's get some paper that would match. Not that. Let's see. match kind of let's see what else have we got whoa dropping things you're just watching eating and drinking that sounds good where that one would go too would go for that would make a cute insert either that one or that one I think that one to keep up with the um the look of it very florally Uh, 
pocket maybe by six. I should probably make two books for this one. Maybe I will make two books for it. Where'd that other one go? I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. I'll make two floral books. I don't know, will that work? Ooh, yeah, if I leave a little bit of a border, that should work. We're just going to leave a little border. Or I could just cut this one down a hair and that should be fine. It should be fine. We'll just cut that one down a hair. nice about these you can make them with your own calendar and use them as a planner and you can print out calendars from online or just make your own same size. That little eighth that I added on there, I'm going to cut it off. Two books, both the same size. Well, Colorful floral patterns will go in there, like so. Very nice. Okay, um, where is it? There it is. We're gonna cut our, uh, we're gonna round our edges.
it's starting to cool off here. It's not as hot as it was, or at least not right now. I don't know if it's going to get hotter, but it's like in the 80s, which is nice. I'd much rather have it in the 80s than in the 90s. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like the heat and I cannot wait until fall and I'm so happy it's September because that means fall and then I'm going to get to start doing Halloween. I can't wait for Halloween because <laughs> it's my time of year. It's fall. I like fall, winter, and spring, but I like fall the most, I think, just for the fact that Halloween is in the fall. I don't like that the, you know, I like that the leaves turn colors, but I don't like when they start to fall off because then it looks ugly. But still, I like the cooler weather and I'm so excited for Halloween because I'm going to be starting to do Halloween projects in, in about a week or two. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Cannot wait. Okay, so now we got to decorate this a little bit. And if we're going to decorate it like I did on this one, you got to just do like a something flat. Because then you can still laminate it. Obviously, if you're not laminating it, then you can do whatever you want and go crazy. You can always decorate it on top of the laminating if you wanted to make it. But, you know, it's really not the point. Let's see. I've got some, like, words that I can use. Maybe, let's see. So I got in here. Oh, I know something that would work. Oh, maybe one of these butterflies that I had gotten in a happy mail. And I like the word wanderlust. It's one of my favorite words. And I think we'll use wanderlust for this. That's a good one. Don't you think? But this will be the first year that I get to do Halloween on YouTube because I haven't gotten to do anything for Halloween because of the fact that I'm trying to decide which color. These are both very similar, but um, let's see. Yeah, I think this one. Um, yeah, I was sick for the past two Halloweens, which means I didn't get to participate in the whole make YouTube video thing for Halloween. I don't think, if you go back and look through my channel, through my videos, I don't think you'll find any Halloween videos, and if so, it's going to be rare. <laughs> I, I really don't think there's any, I believe. We're going to try to put a dark blue on this around the edges so that it stands out a little more. Maybe, but it's okay if it doesn't. It looks pretty. Either way. Either way, it's pretty. And it says Wanderlust. And I'll put it... I'll put it up there. And that's what we're going to do. Just keep it simple. That's the whole point of these, is to not be some overboard thing. They're just simple and easy and fun. And I'm just going to use glue stick and it doesn't have to stick down on all edges because the laminating is going to take care of that. So all you need to do is just get it stuck. So just put a little glue, just enough to stick it down temporarily because we're going to turn the laminator on, which I need to do that anyway now. Okay, so it's heating up because it's on the floor next to me. There it goes. Heating up. And then we'll put 
Vine right. Oops. Oh, that's fine. Sticks out just a hair. That's okay. It's okay. Tiny little hair. There we go. Okay. So we just need to wait for that to heat up and it'll go in a laminating sheet. I was like, I want to make a faux dory, but I don't want to like make it out of chipboard and then I was like you know what if I make it out of lamp if I laminate it it'll look really nice and then if you get anything all over it, you can just wipe it right off you know I might even sell some of these because they're fun to make and I don't mind making a few extra to sell kind of laminator one that I got on clearance a long time ago it's called a fellows I, I don't know I'll bring it up here in a second it's called a fellows and it works really well whoops I'm just gonna stick this in here These are like mini purse size faux dories that are nice for, you know, throwing in your purse, jotting down some notes, you know, have one that's for notes, have another one with a calendar, and there you go. You got like your appointments and some notes, just something simple. Um, I know I like the flamingo paper too. It's awesome. Very awesome. Right, I'm going to pull this thing up here now. Alright, I'm going to get the plug out of the way. Why is this got like things? Is this dirty? Could be. I haven't used it in a while. It's quite dusty actually. Dust this sucker off. It's been sitting down under my desk for like ever in a day. Yeah, I got it on clearance at... Where was that I was at? Oh, uh, Walmart, Target, one of those places. That's the only time I ever buy things. Like, like I bought my bread maker at Target one time because it was $20 or $17 on sale from $60 on clearance. And I was like, okay, you know, same with like the laminator or something like that. Like, I don't buy these things unless it's on clearance. The only machines for, well... The only machines I bought not on clearance was my my cranky die cutter machine, which was on sale, pretty significant sale, or my Cricut, which was also on sale. I got that through years ago, uh, a couple years ago through HSN and just made payments on it. So, but anything else, I normally usually don't buy things like that unless they go on clearance because I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> This will beep and let me know when it's heated up. Oh, did that not? I had that pressed. I don't know why it didn't go. Oh, well, it shouldn't take more than a second. So we'll just chat until this thing stops blinking. Oh, that's a good deal. Ten bucks for a, a, a laminator. Yeah, pr laminators are pretty cheap nowadays, I've noticed. Um, you, you don't find them too expensive. You can get them for under 20 bucks. Um, you could probably find one on Amazon for the same price, under 20 bucks. So, and they're worth it to have because obviously you can laminate with it, but you can also do that gold foiling with it nowadays, which I want to give that a try too. I don't know if I'll do that tonight, but um you could do i have the stuff to do it so it's pretty interesting i mean i don't have the the stuff to do it like the mink stuff is that what it's called mink zinc no mink 
but I have like I have the um, the embossing powder that's like the sticky glue and it gets it heats when you heat it back up it gets sticky and then you lay your gold foil on it so I could probably try that with one of these faux dories we could probably give it a try and put something like that on it maybe the next one we could put like a I don't know like a stamp on it and stamp it in gold oh that's a good idea Oh, but it might melt when I put it back through for the other one. You know, I could do it on the... That's what we'll do. We'll try it on the uh, on the booklet. Because when I laminate it, when it goes back through, it might melt. But I could do it on, like, the booklets. I could put a little stamp on it or something. <sighs> you borrowed your husband's laminator? <laughs> Well, he obviously isn't missing it if you have it still and he hasn't asked for it. Hurry up and heat up. Goodness. Well, I could put this together while I'm waiting for this to heat up. Let me move that over there because I should have enough of the paper. Did I get it all printed out over there? I think so, but I have enough over here. Oh, wait a minute. Am I using the pink or the blue? Let me go get the blue out of my printer. I guess I'll use the blue. I didn't print any other colors but pink and blue. And I ran out of copy paper <laughs> and I looked all over. I could have sworn I had more, but I guess I don't. But I had this that I got from the Creative Reuse, which is basically copy paper with three hole punch. So I can use that for now, but I'm going to have to probably next week or something. I'll, I, this is the first time in a long time I've run out of copy paper because a long time ago I bought like a ton of it. So yeah, I had it for like the last year without running out of it. Three, what is this, one, wait, how many? Don't count properly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do ten sheets and then obviously fold it in half, which makes twenty pages but actually 40 front and back it's starting to heat up i could feel it let's see i forgot how big again oh right. I'm running out of room already sheets oh, we're ready all right quit your bitching laminator i'm the laminator i like to put it under something more firm as i feed it in Where's my paper at? I have a piece of 
cardstock sitting here somewhere. Are you kidding me right now? Where is it? There we go. Just one of these. I just need a piece of cardstock to. I like to put it on a piece of cardstock and feed it through so that it doesn't flop over and get all sloppy. You just feed it in and it just starts going. Hello, Freedom. And it is now coming out the back side. It is pooping out my cover. Oh, it's got a little blemish right there. What's that about? That's okay. It's not notice. It's not going to be noticeable when I'm done. Oh. All right. It's all pooped out. Okay. And we can shut that off. Okay, let's give this a, a trim. And you, you obviously, when you trim it, you do not want to trim all the way up to your paper line. You want to leave a lip of like an eighth, eighth of an inch, I would say. Definitely. Because if you go too close, you run the risk of it splitting open. Because obviously, it doesn't glue itself to the paper. It just glue. It seals around it, shrink wraps it. So it's kind of important that you don't mess it up by going too close. go further apart first and then check on it and see where I can trim off a little more if I go a little too a little too far away sometimes sometimes I get a little carried away and I go a little too far but I'd rather go further away initially than Why doesn't that look even to me? Did that cut better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now, now we round the corners just like we did on the paper. Plus you want around the corners on these because they're pointy. They'll stick you. You don't want to get stuck. Okay. And then since you already scored the paper, you don't have to go back and score the plastic. You just fold it and it'll basically score itself. And then use your bone folder. Give it a good good folding and a good burnishing on both sides. I'm going to burnish it a couple of times because the plastic is stiffer. And then there you go. And if it's still really stiff, like this is three millimeter um, or whatever, three millimeter if you have a, a thicker one, I advise you to probably not use any thicker than three millimeter, four at best. But if you have to, and it's really, really, really stiff, and it's like, like, and you see how this sticks up? Not that it matters once you get the book in it, but you could take your heat gun and kind of give it a heat. Very gently. You want to be careful not to melt it, but you can kind of 
if it gets a little warped, you can kind of close it and kind of warm it up, and it'll it'll conform to what you want it to conform to. So if you want to make sure it stays down, or maybe the cover is a little warped. Just keep it in the right position while it cools off. And then, voila, it stays shut. Perfecto. Okay. Um, then your next step is to put your holes in it, put your grommets in it. If you want to put grommets, you don't have to. That is completely decorative. You don't need to put grommets in it. It's not going to make a, you know, much of a difference. Um, you do need some elastic. So, you know, either this type of elastic, the kind that you, or the kind you get, um, the kind you get in the Jane Davenport, uh, like kit where they have the elastics for her butterfly journal and it has extra elastic. You can get that. Hi, Patricia. So, you can get any kind of elastic or you can get this kind of elastic whatever kind you want um but yeah so basically you're going to put two holes in the first hole is we're going to use like i'll show you in the other one what i did was because these grommets are little flowers which it doesn't matter even if they weren't i wouldn't want to put grommets close to each other but i have two holes I don't know if you could see. See, there's the one with the grommet. And then there's the other one. But you need two holes. And you don't they don't have to be done with a grommet. You, you can leave them empty. Like the one in the middle for the thing doesn't have a grommet. I just have the grommet there and there. So I'll do the same. I'll do it with the grommet. So you need a crocodile or a, you know, some you can't use like a big hole punch, like the standard paper hole punch like this because that hole is way too big so you need some sort of like either a pokey tool that you can make a you know like an um what's it called an awe all whatever it is this thing you can use this but you might have some residual plastic to get rid of um but obviously you want to try to use some sort of punch and i'm using the smallest setting and I'm going in about, I don't know what that is, about an inch, I guess, from the plastic, not from the paper, from the edge of the plastic. I guess that's about the same as the last one. It's a little further, actually. And then you want to do another one. like that so that you have two holes and it doesn't matter that, that that this one here is close to the edge because it's not close to the edge of the plastic and that's all that matters so then you want to do the same thing on the other side you want to put one close to the edge and then That's about right. Eh, it's a little close together. I'm going to use a small grommet in the one hole. Small. Just these little ones here. I don't even know if I'm going to use these. I might actually use smaller ones than this. These are big. Oops, let me see. Let me see. Cause I'm only going to put a grommet in this one. Yeah, I'm going to use smaller ones. I don't need big ones. Um, let me see if I have smaller ones. Um, let's see. Let's see if I've got... 
I got these, which these will probably work, I think. Yeah, I don't see why not. These will be a perfect color, too. Good match, good match. I hate these containers, so I'll have to get a new container. So, in this case, I probably could put a grommet in each one. Because, A, I have enough of them. And, B, they're really small. They're, they don't have a large, like, lip on them. So, I can do one in each, which is nice. I just need to make sure that I'm doing this. And sometimes I'm not very good with setting grommets at all. Not even a little bit. Like that just popped right through. <laughs> that didn't even that didn't even work. Like that's how bad I am at setting these. I probably pressed too hard. Let me try being a little bit more gentle. Nope. You know what, I think I need to use... Yeah, they... I just don't feel like these crocodiles... I don't know whether it's the grommets or what. Everybody keeps saying that the, what is it, the We Are Mem Memory Keeper grommets are the best. I don't have any of those. I have cheapy ones that I got from like eBay or something that I'm not good at. I'm not good at it. Doesn't seem right. These are littler, so let me try the littler holes. That's what she said. Okay, let's try this one. <laughs> Why did that not really do anything? Did that work? Oh, I think it worked. It did. I'm just going to pound down. It did work. I had it I had it on the wrong setting initially. I'm just going to make sure that this is bent over and not have any rough metal. Perfect. It actually worked. I had it probably on the wrong setting. Cuz I'm a dang bat, but I'll do it on this side just in case I mess up any other ones. And at least I'll have the two even Steven sides. Because really, that's all I... Hmm, that one worked too. Sweet. Um, sorry for all the noise. Um, so yeah, so this is, I mean, you don't need the grommets. Like, you can omit this whole section of grommets. The, it, the paper is not, it's not paper, so because it's plastic, your elastic is not going to pull out of these holes, like if it is if it was paper. But, you know, so in the other one, I just used grommets, like in these, in the, in the one hole, and I didn't use it in the other. Like I said, it was because they were wider grommets, and it wouldn't have it would have been, they would have been too close together, but now that I'm using smaller ones, I can be right next to each other because it's fun. These grommets really match well. I'm surprised how well these match. This one's all matchy matchy and such. Okay, one more. Oops, this side. One more. Okay. And okay. That's better. Sorry for all the pounding. Like you're going to be running your hands on the inside of that anyway. Okay. So now we need our elastic. Actually, oh no, we need one more hole. And I'm going to use one more grommet since I can. Um, I need my, where is it? This thing. So I forgot. 
we need to make a hole in the center for the elastic because that elastic has to go in first. Excuse me, I'm just going to eyeball this. That's a hole and I have to set it with, let's hope I can get it back on the same setting as this one. A little one on the top, I think it was this one. And then what number is it on the bottom? Three. Number three on the bottom. Now you don't have to do all this. You can omit putting a hole in there altogether and just wrap an elastic around it. Or you could put a hole and obviously not put a grommet. It's up to you. Two. That's three. It won't look the same. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, it's the smallest one. Okay, I'm going to put a grommet in that one and try to set it with this big mamba jamba. But what I like about it is it's, uh, oh yeah, I got to put it back on that. Okay, that's the only thing with this is you got to, if you want it to be a, a hole punch, you got to set it on a hole punch or it doesn't do like this one does. This one punches the holes at the same time as it does this. This one you have to set it on one or the other, which I kind of like better. It didn't seem like that would go. What am I doing? Isn't that not going? like not moving. What is the matter with this? Is it? Did it go? Half acidly. Why doesn't it go all the way down? Good night, Shirley. Maybe I need to move it onto that or another one. Maybe. Let me try. I mean, it's on there, but. It's actually, I think it's on there more correctly than the other ones are to be honest like these ones split open like that that's the one i use with the other crocodile this one did that and like was more neater i think it still feels like it's got some space where it can push down i don't know if you can see that like it moves but it's it is pressed over i'm just confused at why this doesn't push down all the way do i have something set wrong no Oh, that's weird. There it goes. Yeah, why doesn't that press down all the way, seems like. What are you talking about with a hammer? I'm probably going to have to pull my hammer out. There we go. I felt something pop. That worked a little better. Well, I'm still going to get the hammer out, so if that bothers you, I just want to make sure it's in there. Okay, we're good. I don't know why I'm messing with that so much okay so the first thing we need to do before we put the elastics in the binding to hold the books in we have to put the elastic in that's going to go around it so you want to do that first and you want to pick 
an amount of elastic that will give you space to knot and then also like hold it around the edge and also go around the book a little snugly but not like you want it to go around snug but not ridiculously snug so I'm going to cut off an extra length so that I can now tie this and what I'm going to do is tie it loosely like so and test this knot to see if it is if it's um, efficient enough to go over which it is that should be fine why did I do that I'm such a dingbat <laughs> might help if I stick it in the hole that's what she said before I do it Good luck getting that out now. All right, let's get another piece. <laughs> anyway, you want to stick it in the hole, and you got to stick both of them in there. You can try to do it one at a time or two at a time. Either way, just jam them in the hole. That's what she said. I'll do one at a time and then use my pokey tool. Where the hell is it? To get the other one in there. Come on. Don't be a jackass. because that grommet's smaller. Anywho, so this is a good way to test. Let's see. I can do it a little bit further. So I'm going to make the knot about there. But you want the knot, obviously, to be on the inside. Perfect. And then you're going to cut off the excess on that. And then it's a little loose, but I can always tighten it up a little. It'll tighten up too when I add my books in it. So if it's a little tight, you can always tie another knot. Like this and then put the knot next to the other one and cut off the other one you can't hear me refresh tell tell him to refresh the page he should know that by now oh man it's another way to put it in is to do it after you tie the knot and stick it that way. I don't know why I didn't think of that with the other one I did. I'll just use that for another one. Duh. There we go. That's a little tighter, a little better. Tell him to refresh his page. Okay, then we're going to make our books. Our books are going to go in there. All nice, fancy like. Now I need to find my papers that I cut out. Once I have these here, which ones? Oh, there they are. How many did I cut out? I cut out one, two, three, four. Someone in the chat, type in, Sean, refresh your page. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Now we need to move all this out of the way. I said move out of the way.
what thin zom zombie thinlets? What are you talking about? Like the dyes? His new dyes? Is that what you're talking about? I got, I have some of the claw marks. I really like those. Those are cool. I need to, I'm going to have to get all of them. <laughs> I don't have any other Halloween dyes aside from that one. Do I have anything else? I think I have like a tiny little beaker, like a science beaker bottle thing. Other than that, I don't think I have any other Halloween dyes whatsoever. Other than the, obviously other than the, um, what do you call it? The Tim Holtz one that I got from Janet recently. I know, considering that Halloween is my favorite holiday, I don't have a whole hell of a lot of Halloween stuff at all. It's so weird. Hi, Laura. I have more now that Spanky sent me some. Sean, can you hear me yet? Alright, so whenever you make a book and you put a bunch of, you know, papers together in one signature, you'll have this, like, feathering where it goes out. It, like, comes out. Well, I like to cut that off and make it nice and even. Steven. However, when I did this on the other one, I was having problems. I mean, I worked it out, but usually this blade will cut real nice. Um, but for some reason, I mean, and this is not an old blade. Like, I literally just put this in not long ago. So I don't know why it was cutting all weird, but it was. And it was making me angry because it's not an old blade. But you want to put pressure to make sure it doesn't slide. And then just work through it. Did it work this time? Yeah, see, this this time it worked better, but it still did this thing where it, like, I'm not sure if it's the plastic, this little plastic piece that's in the center here. I don't know if it has anything to do with that or what. I wonder if there's a way to flip it around so that it uses up it in here. I don't know if it has to do with that plastic piece. I thought I saw somebody that you said you could replace them but um i think if i just were to take it out and flip it around it would wear on the other side here that may be the problem because if the blade is good then i shouldn't i can't think of anything else like it made the page a little bit wonky on this side not bad though at least it's not like the other one. I think Sean left. I don't know. Maybe he'll come back. I don't know. And then I usually leave it folded and I wonder if it'll cut, uh, cut through all of these. Yeah. That's what I like about the crocodile um, corner chomper thing. It cuts through a lot of paper at one time. I don't like how you have to position the paper in there. It makes it seem like you're, it's not going to go straight, and sometimes it doesn't. But I do like that it cuts through a lot of paper at once. And voila. Now, you take this, and you take... Now we have to decide, are we going to decorate this one? Really, if I just embossed it, it would look pretty. So maybe I'll just emboss it. Because then I could put my book together first. Because in order to do the gold foiling, that's going to be another mess. We'll have to do that another time. Why is this not? There we go. Why does it stick out? It shouldn't. It should be the right size. It's sticking out ever so slightly. And of course, that's going to bug the crap out of me. Dang it. I may have to trim off a hair off of this, off of this book. Just a hair, which is fine. 
don't mind. It's just frustrating. I thought I had it all worked out. Now I gotta trim off the hair. Rechomp that corner and rechomp this corner. And then voila, perfect. Perfection. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now, once you do that, you get it all lined up, you take yourself a clip, you put the book in exactly where you want it, make sure it's in there, and then you clip it doo dah and then you break out your long reach stapler doohickey, which, what did I do with mine? Where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. A little sneaky snake. I think mine still has bright pink staples in it, does it? Where's the thing in the jiggity? It does. Let me go get different staples real quick. I got blue ones so I can replace these quickly and use blue. Or actually the green ones match better than that. I wish they had more colors. They just have the blue, the green, and the pink. I'm sure we already went over this. I know that there was a place that had other colors. All right, so we'll do metallic green. I gotta do it this way because I marked my little my stapler to know on the side exactly where the staple comes out so that I can do my books exactly now you could do two staples i think i'm just going to do two staples or you could do three kind of just depends on what you want to do like your preferences for these you just need two i did three in the other one i realized that's kind of overkill i don't need it two is perfect and then voila you got your book what did I do? Let me fold this properly. Why does it seem like it's off kilter? It's because I'm off kilter. There we go. And there's our book. Oh yeah, we need to put the elastic in here. Duh. Er -duh. Er -duh. Okay, so you get yourself a, a length of that. And you're going to go in through one hole. Like so. And then just loop around the back. So that it makes a little, like a stitch between those two. And then you're going to go in through, you're going to pull it, and you're going to go in through 
that hole and come in through this one so it makes another stitch so you don't have the, the elastic going all the way over like the back like this which you can do that but this way it also gives you two elastics which means you could fit at least two books and if you use an extender you can fit way more than that but really these are designed for just like two maybe three books they're not designed for like heavy duty thick books and then what you want to do is tie it um obviously it's too long you want to tie it i'm just going to cut off a length because it's easier to tie it if you got a little length um you want to tie it and for this you want to make sure it's fairly tight so that it kind of does that when it's empty kind of bows a little bit just a little bit and it won't do that when it's full and then you cut that and i like to put this down towards the bottom so you can kind of move it and have it kind of down at the bottom so the knots aren't sitting on top of each other and then you just take your book and pick one of the strings and put it in there and then there you go and then we're going to make the other book um I think this is a, I think this is ten pages here. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So we will make the other little book insert pencil this will cut all of these without giving me a problem there we go. it all a few pieces at a time hi Odette thanks Debbie And here we go. And again, I'm going to trim the edges. Let me see how much I need to trim. This might stick out quite a bit. 
No, it doesn't. Okay. That's good. Not the right height, right? Yep. Okay. Like, why is it cutting at my ears? It doesn't cut it as nice as it used to, and I swear it has to do with this plastic piece under here. Uh, it's very frustrating because it used to cut beautiful. I used to be able to cut perfect. And now it's like wrecking the sides. I don't know if it's the blade or. I don't know. Just annoyed. Look what it's doing to my paper. <sighs> right now I just want to like scream. I'm so mad. All right, let me go get the other cutter because apparently there was something wrong with that one severely. <sighs> it really pisses me off. hoping that this one can rectify the situation. I don't know if it'll go through all of these pages, but I don't really know what else to do to get this to now fix these. Yeah, you know, that ain't gonna work either. Shit. That just makes me mad. Because now I've like sliced and ruined these pages. Like, I don't understand what is wrong with that cutter because it worked no problem all this time and now it don't work? I mean, that's BS. I may have to call Fiskers and be like, dude, there shouldn't be any reason that your cutter shouldn't work. Well, this is screwed now because it's too short, I think. So I've had to cut so much off of it. Yeah, I give up chucking it. I'll use it for something else. That makes me so freaking angry. And I can't use this. It doesn't cut enough at one time. And I need to be able to cut. And I don't do the whole razor thing because that, that don't work for me either. So I counted on that Fiskars to do that for me. And for some reason, it's just not doing it. I can change the blade again and try that. I don't, I just, I don't understand because I just changed that blade a couple of weeks ago and I haven't done that much. Usually that blade lasts me forever unless I got a faulty blade. No, it's not too many pages because I've done three times that amount with that cutter. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, I used to be able to cut so many pages with that. It's crazy. So it's definitely not too many pages because this is nothing. I used to do entire journals to the point where it was like I thought the damn thing was going to break and it worked great. It makes me so angry. It's, nothing pisses me off more than that. Like to have to put in another blade now and hope that that's it. But at the same time, now what's wrong with this? But at the same time, it's annoying because I just put that blade in not long ago. It shouldn't be dead already. And I just got to figure out where the hell the blade is. I have one left. Unless it is a knockoff blade and it's not like the right blade. Oh no, I have two left. Okay, good. Is it two or is this... Okay, yeah, good. I have two left. Not, not so mad anymore. I don't know why my little handles are falling off of here. Come on. Let's get our crap together today. <sighs> Stuff like that aggravates me. Because I know that I just put... You guys were here. I put it on, on while I was in a live stream. Like during a mixed media mashup or something. Yeah, that blade's still sharp. So I don't get it. It's not like that blade is overly dull. The other one that I pulled out of here was really, really dull. Like, I couldn't have cut my skin with it. This one's definitely sharper.
but okay, what am I doing wrong? Is this the wrong blade? Can't be. There we go. I was gonna say this better work. I'm gonna be annoyed as hell. This stupid cutter was almost forty dollars. Okay, let me get more paper and put this other monstrosity back before I kill myself on it. Holy crap! Ugh. This other kind of paper in it and that's all because I don't think I do have more paper but we're gonna do this one which is just a like a light gray line and it's only on one side so one side can be a blank page yeah I don't know why that cutter decided to be I don't know why that happened tell me if that didn't happen every other paper are you kidding me right now have like things not do this to me every damn day I go through this stuff or something just doesn't work properly it's not like that printer's old either it just decided to print on every other page don't know why well, that's frustrating Anything else want to go wrong today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything else? I think they do sell that white strips, but like I said, all I have to do is flip it around. If I pull it out, I can flip it around. I don't know if it's the white strip or not. Had to be replaced when I started cutting unevenly. Well, we're going to see because if that's the case, then I'm going to see if we can get this out because there's got to be a way and I'm going to flip it around because obviously it doesn't cut it right down the middle it cuts it over to the side you know what I mean so let's see if it cuts okay with the new blade what's wrong with this why does it have the lines going that way that's not the right paper anyway so 10 here. Can I get this to work for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. That's that taken care of. Goodness gracious. No, it's fine. I just get annoyed easily with things like that that shouldn't be broken, that break. To me, first of all, if this needs to be replaced, they should give you an extra one in the box. If you're going to pay $40 for a cutter, then yeah. They should give you an extra blade and an extra one of these in the box to get you started. That's just my opinion. Jerking me around and stay still. I'm over it. What am I doing? I don't even remember what I'm doing. Mm. I'll start with that. Now let's see. Let's see if it cuts any differently. Should not have an issue cutting all of these papers. As long as you go back and forth, that's kind of the point of these. Okay, that seems to cut good. Maybe it is the blade. I'll know when I do the other part of it, like when I fold them and have them together in a booklet and I go to cut them. I'll know. Because if it was the blade, then that blade must have been just something wrong with it because it's still quite sharp. So. Unless it's like 
got an issue. Mm. But we'll see. We'll find, we'll find. Each slide can be used twice. Just rotate. Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I'll do that then. Yeah, I had a feeling it could be used twice. Okay. That's good. Alright, well then I guess they don't need to put an extra one in the package if, if it actually can be used twice. But I want to see if it's just a blade because I, I want to get the most out of this plastic strip. So if the plastic strip's, you know, oh, still okay, obviously, then I'm not going to change it yet because you know me i'm a cheapskate it's not no i'm not cheap at all <laughs> not at all but i'm frugal as hell i'm gonna use up everything but now it's the moment of truth Let me just make sure this is the right size yep you just need to even up the edges and if it does it cleanly, then we know that it's the plastic. Because this is how I've always used this cutter. It's the only cutter I have that I can really do this with. That's why I like it. Yeah, see, I don't think this is the plastic. Because it's doing it up towards the top of the paper. And it still did it. Like it did it up towards the top. That's what I mean. I don't know if it's so much the plastic. I don't know what's the matter with this. But again, it's doing it. And it used to not do it. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't think it's the plastic. Because it that just happened and it did it to the top layers of the paper. Not as bad as the other blade, but it still did it. But we're going to change that plastic anyway, just in case it is it. Because then I'll make another one and we'll see. Because I don't like that. I never had that problem before. But I don't see how, I don't know, it doesn't make sense that it would be the plastic because that happened at the very top of where the blade was cutting. Who knows? I know, right? Let's just see if I can get this out without, yeah, I think I have to unscrew it from the back here. I believe I have to take out the little plastic things here and nope I don't oh does it just pop out oh yes it does it does well that's pretty cool though not only can you flip it around you can do that to it you could flip it around and then you could turn it over so I would imagine you can use it four times I don't know why they say two you know what I mean? Because it's perfectly flat on the other side. I thought maybe, oh, you can only use it twice because the other side has like a, a screw hole or is, is not the right whatever. You know what I mean? But yeah, you should be able to use it four times. Let's clean up the baby. Maybe that'll make her feel better and she'll work better. Get all the gookie out. Yeah, I don't see any reason. I'm going to put that back in the same way that I had it. Yep, that's the right way. Yeah, because I don't see why it wouldn't work. Each side. Oh, gotcha. Each side, each side. All right, thank you for the correction. Appreciate it. So that's good. You get four uses. I like anything you can get four uses out of. Yes, I know they're blank on the back. 
that's why I, I, I mentioned that. I said, well, these ones aren't done on, they're not lined on both sides. So they'll just have to be lined on one side and blank on the other, which is fine. I mean, you can do art on the one side. I don't know. That's why I grabbed these and was like, well, these aren't the ones I wanted, but they will work. They will do for what I need them to do. They will do. Hmm. I could probably, well, I'll do that in the other one. Okay, so now we've got a magic thing. We're gonna make more, so we'll find out. But for now, let me staple this together. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll add some more pages to this one. Make this one a little thicker. Let's see. I'll have to do it with pink, though. I'll do it. Oh, wait, no, I have more of the other one, I think. Hold on. Let me start the print. So I grabbed some pink ones. I'm going to make this a little thicker. And then we'll be able to also test out the thing. dry as hell. Mm. All right. double the size. So it'll have all different paper in it. Why not? Hmm. So far. So good, except I accidentally cut it to the wrong thing. I'm going to cut off more now. I always count on that groove to, <laughs> to let me know where to cut. Well, so far so good. Maybe it was the plastic thing. Maybe it was just time. That plastic thing is the glue that holds it together. Yeah, I think it 
combination of the plastic. Yeah, that, that did, gotta say, that did a good job. Not a single issue. Let's see. It's cut So far, it's cutting like it used to. Ugh, I got all kinds of paper in here. I forgot these are all. Some of these are one-sided. Some of these are two-sided. It don't matter. It don't matter. It'll just be a book that has some lines and some blanks. Just like the first batch. Lines and blanks. So you can sketch and draw and you can write or whatever. I kind of like blank paper. I actually tried to find like a really nice journal with just really nice blank paper in it. I looked online for one. I couldn't find it. I guess I'm just going to have to make myself one. Like I was talking, I was trying to find like a leather bound journal that had just nice blank paper. Not necessarily watercolor paper, but just blank, kind of heavy duty white blank paper. Alright, let's see. Because now is the... Oh, i got to remember where that's cutting to though. Alright, I see it. I've got to make a little mark where that's going to cut so I know. Because now it's on the other side. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Is it though? It is. Let's see. Oh yeah, it worked. See, it cut the slivers off without messing up the pages. Look how nice that did. See, that's what the problem was. And yeah, so you gotta, when your paper starts to not cut properly, not only change your blade, but change your little doodad thing. Change your doodad. Mm -hmm. Got to change your doodad. That's the wrong one. I ain't gonna cut all those. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It'll cut a lot of them, but it ain't gonna cut all of them. That's just crazy talk. should have done that first because I may have to cut these again. Mm, they're almost good. Let's just go in and I'm going to cut these, cut a hair off of this. Because now that I'm adding more paper to it, I'm going to have to cut a hair off. Or actually, I wonder if it'll go on the other side. No. Nope. It's too short for the other side. Alright. Cut the hair off of these. Dang it. It's on that side. Trying to cut just a hair off of it. I'm cutting hairs off, but what happens is sometimes, and this isn't the fault of the cutter, this is the fault of me trying to cut a lot of papers, 
is that if I try to cut a sliver, it'll like make my paper slide this way and it won't cut it all the way through. That happens more times than I'd like to like to think about because usually if I stand up I can avoid it from happening. Here we go. I think I got it that time. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Just gotta stand up, put pressure on. There we go. There we go. Now it's more flesh. Flesh? No. <laughs> it's not more flesh. <laughs> more flesh. Now I just gotta round the corners. And we'll be done. Finally, with that book, all that commotion. All the commotion. All my bitching about my cutter. My trusty cutter is still working. I just needed to upgrade her. She's, she was like, you need to upgrade me, lady. Perfect, but it's good. Good enough. Where's my book? Is it in okay? Yep. You see, that too is perfect. Hmm. You probably get a third in there pretty easily, too. Hi, Jeanette. We are making... Like, uh... I don't know if a staple's gonna go through that. I might not... I might wanna... Hmm. Think about... Maybe not put so many. Maybe take some of them out. I don't think we need that many in there. I think I just wanted to put a few extra. How many did I, extra did I put? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, ten. <laughs> I didn't mean to put ten extra. <laughs> just five extra. Ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I took out five. That's good. Okay. Now we got our two books. One goes on one string, one goes on the other. Get over here. Whoa. That one might be too big. The cover on this might be too big. I might have to make this cover a little bit shorter. I'm just going to give it a little trim. I think I made the cover too big. Too tall. Too tall. I forgot when you do the 
to one in the middle, you need to make it a little smaller. Oh. Thanks, Debbie. It might still be too big, but it's, it'll be fine. That's better. Better, better, better. And there's the book. See, like it's messing up my cover because I got to put a little notch in that one. Either that or put my holes closer together, which I didn't really want to do, but if I take this and notch it, I notch it. Actually, if I have a hole punch, where's my punch? Where is my other punch? I had it two seconds ago. Where's it to it? Odd. Well, I could probably just use the crocodile. Just gonna cut a little half. Come on. Little half circles. little half circle notches that one didn't cut there we go try it straight oh that way ding bat ding bat upside down then. Get over here. There. And you got your two books. And just one in here. And I haven't put a charm on yet. Um, let me go grab a charm. Okay, I'm going to put this green peace sign on there. Hi, Julia. Oh, and cutter. 
Cheers. Goodness, hold still, thing. It's not cooperating at all. Cooperate or I kill you. I really need my glasses on. My eyes are killing me. I gotta go grab my glasses because I can't take this non being able to see thing. Hold on. I can never find any of them. And the reason is because I used to have a thing I wore around my neck and I would keep them around my neck because I can't stand leaving them up on my head because it gives me a headache to have, have headbands on and things on my head. So I can't put it up on my head. But I used to have a thing and it broke. It was really pretty. It was beaded and it broke. And I was so upset when it broke because a friend of mine made it for me. And so now I don't have a thingamabobber. And I want one. I want to make one, but I don't have the stuff to make it. I need the little things to make it. Here we go. That one's pretty. What cutter? Not the Fiskars one. The Fiskars one that I was just having issues with. I got that one a couple years ago. Alright. So I made two of those cuties. Um, oh. Whew. Thanks, Spanky. So now I have this other idea. I just want to get rid of some of the garbage first. Like little bits of paper sitting around here because I have other ideas. I do, I do. ideas with this stuff here. I think I have a good amount of it now. make this one. Was this the one that I made earlier that was not the right size too? I don't know. Maybe. Now what's a stapler, Janie? Janie, are you I think Janie's watching I think she needs to fast forward. I think she's not watching it. Are you able to hear me right now, Janie? Because yes, I use a special needle. It's like a like a like a what is it like a a darning needle or something? I don't know if you can hear me though, because I think you might be a little behind. Yeah, you're a little behind. Um. Somebody type into the chat to tell her to refresh her page and or fast forward the little slide bar because she thinks she's watching it live, but she's not. Unless she wants to watch it like that, which is fine, but I'm not going to be able to answer her because she's not going to hear it for like 20 minutes. 
Um, let me grab something while I see if I can find it first. That's the thing. Oh, what did I do with it? Crap. Let me look over here. Somebody needs to tell her to slide her thing because otherwise she's going to ask me 90,000 times and not hear my answer until 20 minutes from now. <laughs> Where is... I hate when I forget when I, where I put something. Hold on, it might be in my closet already. Stick it in here. I don't know what I did with it. I have the one piece, but I don't have the other piece unless I stuck it here. Let me see. It's like my room is a disaster. I cannot wait to move, so I don't have to deal with the disaster that I'm constantly in because I can't really get organized any further because I've run out of room in here to organize myself. So everything ends up everywhere. Oh well, I can't find that piece. And I'm not going to spend all day looking for it. But I had a specific piece of packaging that I was saving. And now I can't find it, of course, because it disappeared. So, I don't know. Is it okay now, Janie? Can you hear me now? Because <laughs> you were in the past. Because you were listening to me and I was, you were asking me questions that were from 20 minutes ago. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, she can't hear me. Okay. I'm just going to have to get. Well, it's not going anywhere right now because there's nowhere for it to go at this point. I have to figure out how to get my air conditioner fixed. So that's first things first. Um, hmm. Hmm. I wish I knew where that one paper was. It was the perfect thing. It makes me so mad that I can't find it. I had it sitting here for ever. Oh, give me a second. I need to figure out where this could possibly be because. Literally, it hasn't been that long since it was sitting right here. Up my butt. Find it? I think I found it. Okay. Goodness. I 
found it. Found it! So I've got this piece of packaging from which I need to pull the staples out. Goodness gracious. Hmm. Come on now. Anywho. Anywho, we're going to turn this into a notepad. We're going to put these pages all down to the same size. The smallest ones are these. So we're going to make this fit. We're going to cut a little off each side. And we're going to put this together. And it's going to be a notepad. In fact, I don't know, we'll just put it together. It'll be a notepad that can hang. Very cute, very cute. What are we talking about? If you're sewing through a lot of papers, what about the size you use for denim? I'm not sure what I'm I'm not sure what you mean, Sandy. Oh, so if you're sewing paper to denim, is that what you're saying? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I just have I have a needle that I've had on my sewing machine since I got it and I've still been using the same needle to go through my paper note my paper journals and stuff it hasn't broke yet it hasn't stopped working I don't know how it's a miracle it's a Christmas miracle all right I might just use this many papers on it instead of using all of these because I think these are these the right size oh yeah these will fit so I think that's as many as I'm gonna get in here without it being overloaded is this many actually we may have to cut these too all right well in fact actually maybe I'll do two notebooks I'll do how many is in each of these All right. Um, I don't know how this thing moves as much as it does. Constantly moves forward. Don't know how. It's weird. It's just weird. All right. Now we're going to try and cut this little sliver oh, the wrong one wrong one it worked close to being the same size pretty much not exactly but that's fine and then we want them to be that size so we're gonna have to cut I'll 
do a little more than that so that they're you don't want it to be all the way to the thing what about here Now we're going to cut this. We're going to eyeball this in the center. And then we're going to cut here and here. Going to slice it nice. Oh, that's the wrong one. Itching really bad. It's driving me nuts. I'm driving me nuts. Not perfect, but oh yeah. Not perfect, but good enough. Really pretty notebook. And if you stick a magnet on the back of it, you can put it on your Frigidaire. That's because you were making my flip book, Janie. Of course it broke. Hello? All right, I don't know if a staple is going to go through all that. We're going to try and see if a staple will go through all that. Not so sure about that, though. I might have to use something else. But we're going to give it a shot into the same place that the staple was already at for the package to begin with so I don't know did that go through oh it did it did that worked out didn't it I need to press that in pretty well Not perfect, but it'll do. It's a little cattywampus, but meh. It's cattywampus, but meh. Yeah, that's the wrong. Wait, I gotta take that out. Whoops. It's not going through the paper properly. Let me redo that. Come on. Come on, jackass. Oh, goodness. Let's try this again. This time I'm going to mark where they're going to go. It's very easy for the... I'm going to use a clip. That's all I can do is clip it. Because otherwise I ain't never going to get this on there. This is a stronger clip. 
It's really quick. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> I still don't find that to be that even. Let's try it again. down and voila I got me a fancy notebook to use all my fancy papers some are blank some have the thing on the other side but guess what I don't care um and then I've got you know that one's got a crease in it let me get a different one Oh, look at that. I could go all the way around if I had a nicer, a longer piece. Is this one longer? No. I don't think I'm going to find a longer piece, actually. That's okay. I'll just wrap it around on both sides equally. I'm going to put more glue in my glue bottle. I'm running out of glue. I literally just filled this bottle up a couple days ago. I use a lot of Aileen's. But thanks to Janie, I can refill it. Stop it. Stop it. is that so that you could save all your packaging and make little you know the packaging that has the little flap over the top because it's in the plastic and make little bag um, bags does this look like a bag to you make little books little notebooks little notepads that you can put magnets on and hang on the ceiling which I do have a magnet somewhere I don't know what happened to it but I know I have one the strips of magnets either way now I could put like a little we could decorate it further shall we decorate it further I think we shall 
let's see what else have I got up here to decorate it with let us see let's see let's see let's see oh, too big I love those flowers though oh this is perfect I think I think Wouldn't that just be perfect? I'm going to turn my heat gun on, though. Because that thing ain't sticky no more. And I think I'm going to pull it off anyway. Either that or that. What do you guys think? The star? The butterfly? That's all I really have that'll work, I think. Yeah, I like the butterfly too. I'm pretty partial to that butterfly. Okay, I think I'll use the butterfly. But I'm going to take it off of this. Yeah, it does look like it belongs here. gotta let the thing the glue heat up a little bit because I'm gonna use hot glue to put that on um I don't know actually I can put it on with, with the aliens that's fine Okay, and I have some of these. I have these, which I have for something else. But I have a whole bunch of these here, which these.
Okay, so. This piece would be better on here. No, it's fitting. Which size is this? It could be its own size. I can just cut it in half. To me, Janie, I get frustrated easily. <laughs> I get frustrated with inanimate objects very, very quickly. <laughs> I get so mad at stupid things like things like this. Oh, that's cool, Laura. You're just getting into mixed media. That's awesome. I see. I wish I was. I wish I knew how to sew. You know. I wish I learned from an early age, but I didn't, unfortunately. All right. So now I'm going to move this back out of my way. In my way. I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut off a bit. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to make it not that big, I guess. I made those even and I didn't even mean to. Didn't even mean to do it that way. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. These are all going to be separate things. Part of it and thought I was all the way through. Whoopsie. Now I'm all the way through.
one. This table. Let's see. Hmm. So all of these can be individual little notebooks with the leftover paper. And then I've got this paper here, and I've got this leftover from a project that I did, and it's just a little do that, and I can cut that to fit, and actually probably, yeah, I've got more pages up here I can use, and cut these all to fit and make another notebook. Um, so what I might do with this is make this like the other notebook and cut this off up here but just shorter. this paper and I'll mark it don't have to waste any of your scraps. You can save them all. I mean, I'm not saving these little strips I'm cutting off, but I don't need to save those. That's kind of a little much. Just need to round the edges and that should work out well. So I'll take these. Okay. 
I'm going to cut off. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect for that. Oh, see, now we get another book. All kinds of books going on today. Fancy. Who's Nancy? What happened? Now we need to clip the edges of these. Yes, small strips are good for bead making, but I'm not saving them. I have too many small strips of things. Although, these are long enough, probably. I don't know. Do you think these are long enough for beads? They're long enough. They're probably thin. I can always glue them together. Oh, see, don't make me do that. I have so much crap, and you're making me save those now. <sighs> I'm going to get you. I save so much stuff. It's insanity. Who's Nancy Zeman? I don't know who that is. That might have been just a little too much. Who is Nancy Zeman? Is she famous? Hi, Pam. Long time no see. Where have you been hiding? Sewing with Nancy. Oh, if it's a sewing show, I probably haven't seen it. Although, I probably should watch it. Well, that sucks. What happened? Did she die or something? I didn't see. It said she died or she's sick or I don't know. The thing is full of... Okay. I might just be able to do that. Oh, she has cancer. Oh, that sucks.
perfect, but it's cute. Maybe I'll staple the center so it stays nice and flat. There we go. A little cattywampus, but otherwise cute. Little notebook. Are we on a notebook kick today? <laughs> Possibly. These need just a sliver cut off. Okay, I need to cut some of this off. Do it once I get it in the thing. Cutie cutie one too. Throw this away guilt free. Okay. It's gone. It's in the garbage. Done. It's trashed. It's called a long reach stapler. It's for reaching long distances. Alrighty. Oh, where'd this come out of? Did it come out of this one? I think so. Yep. I think so, anyway. Yeah. Thin, but 
that's okay. Is there any more? Nope, I've used up all my scraps. So now I'm going to make little covers for all these little journals. I'll make some out of this paper here. Yeah, you can get a long reach stapler on Amazon for 10 bucks. It's worth it if you like to staple things in the middle and not have to go through hell to do it. <laughs> Where's my bony folder? Spanky, did you steal my bone folder? Nope, I found it. You're lucky this time. Hi, Davida. Are you leaving or did you just get here? I didn't see you come in if you're just getting here. I like to round the edges of my little books. They look to me more professional that way. Oh, I forgot to do the backs. I'm going to have to do this in twos. my desk. Can I get this? And I'm just
little pocket notebook. Pocket notebook. the most out of my paper if I do it that way. Have a good night, Davida. Get some rest. Okay, so we are going to cut off a little of this. Just do this. These two here. being a pain in the buttocks. It didn't work out there. There we go. Goodness. Get in there. Get over here.
And that's two books. Oh, my hands are hurting. Have a good night, Debbie. Now we are coming up on 1 a.m. Is it still raining by you, Dana? Where do you live again, Dana? I can't remember. big for anything. No, I marked it. Couldn't remember where I marked it. I have to cut some off of this one, I'm sure. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. This one I'm going to leave square. I'm not going to round the edges on this one. See, I like to take these little books and things like this, and I'll take them and use them in Happy Mail and give people, you know, give them away in Happy Mail and stuff. So if you ever have leftover paper, you can do something like that. Three cute little books. Three cute little books. And I still have enough for two more. But these papers are not big enough. I can use those for embellishments. Let's see. What other paper? Oh, I know. I can make flowered ones. This will be enough for at least one. I have something bigger than that. can do one flowered one and one bird one. That should be enough. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good for this one. So we'll do flower one. talking to me, Janie? Is 
who's leaving? I can't tell. Oh, night, Sandy. Have a good night, girl. Ding, 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 ding. So is anybody going to make any of those micro journals? These are like micro journals too. These are tiny. They are like micro journals. No, but like the other micro journal. Where the hell is it? Like this. Is anybody going to make any of these little journals? These are actually, this one's actually smaller than this one. So this is like a micro micro journal. I know some ladies I saw in the group said they were, or in the, Comments of my video said they were going to make some of them. I want to see pictures. The latest smoke is coming from Washington. What are you talking about? What did I miss? Oh, there's fires. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't watch TV, so I never know what's going on. Oh, you've made altered cigar boxes? Oh, that's cool. Well, you should definitely... Why is that like crooked? You should definitely give um, making little books a try. They're really easy. I have a video on how to do it. They're super easy. Obviously, I'm making some now, but these are different than um, making a binded journal, but not much different. It really isn't hard. And they come out so cool. Little birdies. Huh. What the 
handle of my thing is coming off. few at a time. I'll push my luck. Okay. Okay. Oh, the bird paper? Yeah, it's cute. The flip in the bird paper. Giving you the bird. <laughs> did I do all of them? I think I did all of them. I had a bunch of new tiny little books. Bunch of new tiny little books. And not just that. But a bunch of new tiny little, uh oh, where'd it go? What'd you do with it? Did you steal my notebook? Odette stole it. Odette stole my notebook. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. I was looking for the big one. It was right here, but I thought I had another one. Yeah, I do. I'm missing. I didn't make two. I made three of these. Where did it up and go? What did I do with it? Did I drop it? Probably. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know. What size rounded corner punch is standard four millimeter, eight millimeter what? Huh? Oh, you're asking me a question I have no idea how to answer. I am missing one notebook. I must have stuck it somewhere and now I can't see it for some reason. Yeah, there it is. I found it. That's the one. That one, that one, that one, and this one, this one, this one. You mean on this? Oh, wait, it says right here. It says this side is a quarter inch punch, so it doesn't go by millimeters. And this side is a half inch, and that's what I've been using, the half inch. And then there's a quarter inch. Oh, that's true, I did throw it. I didn't throw it away, I just went shoo and threw it next to me. But yeah, I got it. That's right though, I did chuck it. I chucked it. Push down those staples.
this thing will stop sliding forward. It's all good. Exciting. I'll just throw them all away. <laughs> no, they're too cute. Yeah, these are these I save these type of things for happy mails. So that's what I'll do with these. I save them for when I send out happy mail. I put stuff like that in the happy mail. So if anybody's interested in buying any of these, let me know. I will give you a price depending on what you want, how many books you want in it and whatnot. But, and if you want, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm not really taking orders, but I'll make a few. And then if anybody wants them, they can let me know. But other than that, yeah. And I was going to work on... It looks annoying to put two things down on that cutter. What are you talking about? What you talking about, girl? What you talking about, Willis? Best size rounded quarter punch is probably either a half half inch or a quarter inch. It just depends on what you're punching. If you're punching something really tiny and you only want it slightly rounded, then a, then a quarter inch is perfect. Like I'll show you. Where is it? It might be easier. Like if you just want it slightly rounded like that, which that isn't even a good. If you just want it slightly rounded, you can go for that. It just depends. Like it might not look good to have, you see what I mean? Like if you have this size paper, look how big that is. Now if I went to go do the other side, it's going to look, you know, it's going to look, see, it would look ridiculous. So, if you're doing a thin, you know, narrow piece of paper, you're going to want the smaller punch. If you're doing a larger piece of paper like this, then you're going to want the larger one. It just depends. And here's the smaller one next to it. It just depends on what look you're looking for. So you have to decide which one's best. I would say get one of each. Honestly, I mean, you can get one or the other. You know, but I would just get one small rounded, you know, and then one larger rounded. Something like that, I'd say. Yeah, I've always seen them in inches. And so this one's a half inch and this one's a quarter inch. I've only ever seen them in inches, but... You know, I recommend this one because this one will do the job for you. There are two different ones. There are the green one and there's the blue one. Get the blue one. The green one does like decorative edge, decorative ones. I don't really like this one as much. But like this one does like, like a ticket corner punch. And then it does this other one here. It does that with a little like little ridges so you know it's more decorative but this one the blue one here is uh, more practical does the rubber end slide off your corner rounders mine does bad um it just started to today I noticed it they just started to kind of slide off but I would imagine that if they are sliding off really bad, take some E6000 and when they're slid off, you know, when they're slid down like halfway, put E6000 and then slide it back up and it's never going to slide off again. I'll wait until mine are sliding off real bad and do that. But you don't want to do it if they're just slightly sliding off. Wait until they're like halfway off. And then put the glue right at that halfway point so that when you push it up, you don't have a lot of glue oozing up into it or anything. So you just want it to just put enough, go all the way around once with a little, little bit, you know, 
and then slide it back up and clean up any that come across on the edges or especially if you know you don't want it to go into the mechanisms or anything so take a q-tip and clean it and then yeah because it's hollow on the inside so really you can't go all the way around you could just go from here over to here so but it'll stop it yeah and you don't need a lot a little bit will go go a long way with that but that'll definitely stop it no it's leaking hold a lot of chomping material. It holds a lot of corners. Nothing wrong with AliExpress. What are you some guys? I shop there all the time. Good lord, it's like they're never ending. them all. I've chomped a lot of corners. <laughs> yeah, the die cuts from AliExpress are the exact same die cuts that any big company has because AliExpress, that's where big companies get their dies from anyway. So, like when you buy something from Alex, let's say, okay, let's say your favorite store, Mike Sizzix, whatever. Let's say they make this. Let's say, you know, they sell this, okay? Well, it's made in China. Nine times out of ten, the stuff is made in China. Probably, probably 9.99 .99 times out of ten, it's made in China. Well, the manufacturer that makes this in China also sells on aliexpress the same thing it's not it's not exclusive to michael's or joann's or or Sizzix or whatever company they will sell like they do on ebay aliexpress so it doesn't matter if you buy it on aliexpress it's the exact same dies that Sizzix would pay for to have in their store do you know what i mean so it doesn't, it, there, you know, there's no difference. Yeah, there are some things that you'll get on AliExpress that'll be crappy. You know what I mean? Or from China in, in general. Yeah, of course. Because that's like the stuff that they would sell to dollar stores. So there are some crappy things. You have to just know and get to know. But generally speaking, the majority of the craft items are fine. I've never ever had a problem. I've been shopping on AliExpress for close to 10 years, probably eight years, since they first were incepted. I was introduced to them by somebody else who told me about them, and actually it wasn't even for craft supplies. So I've been shopping with them forever, forever. I've probably spent thousands of dollars at AliExpress over the years. And, ne and only one time, did my product not come? It was only like a $2 item. And I contacted the person that sent it, the, the person that, you know, I bought it from. And they immediately sent me another one. And they were so sorry. And it must have just got lost in the mail, that's all. But they immediately sent me another one. And I think, and they refunded my money at the same time, too. So they're very eager to please because they want to keep your business. So just make sure you read all the details. Make sure you know that, you know, sometimes you have to order a lot more. Make sure you look at, because it'll say lot. It'll say how many, the minimum that you have to buy. 
yada 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 generally when you put it in your cart that's the proper amount so if you click on something and you look in your cart before you buy it obviously make sure that it whatever it says in the in the cart is what you're buying and make sure you check shipping because not every time is it free shipping and depending on you know you can usually always find the same product for free shipping so if there you find a product you like okay let's say you found this cream colored bone folder obviously it doesn't say martha it's not going to say martha stewart on it but let's say the description let's say you found this bone folder and you like the bone folder but you only are looking at one seller at the time that you know you just seen one seller i guarantee you there's a hundred more sellers selling this bone folder so what you're going to do is look at the description look at what what the title is because it'll say bone folder but it's going to say a whole bunch of other stuff it's going to say bone folder stick um folding stick letter opener whatever they put in the in the actual title you're going to take most of that you don't have to take the whole thing but take most of it and search aliexpress and when you search you're going to come up with a bunch of other sellers that are selling the same thing it's kind of like ebay so you, then you're going to be able to see a cheaper version of this bone folder guaranteed usually um, so if you, if the first seller you saw, if you're just browsing through and the first seller you saw and you're like, oh, I like that bone folder and it's $3.99, you're going to find a seller that's selling it for 99 cents in free shipping guaranteed. So always look through all the sellers on AliExpress because for that one item that you want, because more than likely you're going to find it a lot cheaper and with free shipping. You know what I mean? And for more quantities. So they might sell it. Oh, you'll get four of them for a dollar fifty or ten of them for, you know, whatever. Or even just one sometimes. And also make sure you look because some sellers say that there's a minimum of five dollars or a minimum of ten dollars. So you just want to be sure because that you won't know. So pay close attention to that. So let's say you find a seller who's selling this bone folder. And it says, oh, you know, three of them for $1.50. Okay, so you put that in your cart. If you go and pay for that, you might not get it. They won't take the money, but you might be expecting it and thinking that you paid for it. And then you go back and look. Sometimes they'll email you and say you have to put, you know, if it's $1.50, you have to put $3.50 more in your cart from that specific seller because they only go is you know you have to pay at least five dollars but it'll say it it'll say it in the in the description of the item you know it'll say minimum of five dollars minimum of ten dollars they won't take your money unless you know if you put it in your car and you go to pay for everything else and thinking it's in there it's probably not and they'll even message you and say you know or whatever they won't screw you out of your money or anything but you do need a minimum on some of the sellers. Not all of them. Some of them, though. So just keep that in mind, too. Yeah, I'm well-versed in AliExpress. I'm probably an expert shopper on that site because I've used it so much. Yeah, you can go lower to higher price, too. Yeah, that's with any store. You can do that. You can click on it and re your search results. You know, you can play with your search results and, and go from lower to higher price and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, AliExpress is a, a good way to get things. Um, but just keep in mind, it takes weeks and weeks to get your stuff. Back when I first started, it took uh, a good two, three months to get your stuff. But now that more people are shopping on there, it doesn't take as long. Because how they do the free shipping is, when they send stuff over to the United States... What happens is they use shipping containers, right? They use these big, large shipping containers. And what they end up doing is when they ship things over to other manufacturers like Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby, when they're shipping their shipments over to the American stores, the American stores have paid shipping. They've paid for that entire shipping container pretty much, even if it doesn't get filled up. They pay for that shipping. So what they do is the reason why we, the small 
person can get free shipping is because there's still room in those shipping containers. So they take advantage of that. And sometimes that's why it takes a few weeks because they have to wait until the shipping container is filled to the brim. And that's what they use to fill it up. They use our buying stuff, our stuff, the personal little people. They use us as filler in those shipping containers. So that's how they get us. That's how they're able to give us free shipping. Because otherwise, you know, it would be much more expensive if they didn't do that. So that's why you have to wait two or three weeks, sometimes a month, to get something. Like, I ordered something two months ago, and it just came the other day. Like, that's, you know, what happens. I ordered something for $3, and it literally took probably three months to get to me. That was a long one. Usually, I don't have to wait that long. But, you know, that happens sometimes. But that's why, because they are, that's why they can give you free shipping. Because you're probably, you know, everybody wonders, how can they give you something for 99 cents and free shipping from China? It's because they're piggybacking on somebody else's shipments. And that person already paid for it, even if it, because like if you order something from overseas, if they order it, like if a big store, like a big box store, like Walmart or Joann's, when they order stuff, when they put in their orders, they pay for one of those giant shipping crates. So what AliExpress does, they just piggyback stuff into those crates to fill them up because they're allowed so much weight in those crates and they just fill them up. AliExpress.com, not KOM. Yeah, it's definitely like Christmas when it arrives. Here, I'll show you what I got the other day. I got a couple things. Hold on a minute. Let's see, and this is how it comes. You know, comes in a package. But I had ordered these. They were, I think, like 75 cents a piece. So it was less than $3. And, you know, got it from AliExpress. And that's what I'll, you know, if I want to get something for a couple dollars... And these are just like things you can put impressions in clay with. Now, to give you an idea of when I ordered these, remember a long time ago when I was doing the clay tiles with the words in them? That's around the time that I ordered these. These took exceptionally long to the point where I contacted them and was like, is, is there something wrong with my shipment, blah, blah, blah. And they, they, they came back and told me that they had a shipping delay or something. I don't remember. And I said, that's fine. I don't care. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't lost or anything. And they said, no, it should be getting to you soon. And like a week later, it got to me. So, because they said they had shipped it. They had a little bit of a delay. And I'm like, that's fine. I don't care if it's a delay because I'm used to that. But yeah. So. Why would there be a custom charge? Where, are you, where do you live, Adriana? Can I open this one? Well, I'll just cut it. There's basically texture plates to put into clay. To put texture in clay or whatever. But I figured I can use them for stamping or for whatever and I figured they were so cheap they were just like dirt cheap so I was like okay I'll get those because that's the only you know only place I can ever buy anything from nowadays is either if I go to the creative reuse or if I have like two or three or five dollars maximum left over from my YouTube money after you know I do whatever you know pay bills get medicine get food then if I have a few dollars I'm I'll like go on and see what I can find on AliExpress Oh, you get charged custom charges? Oh, that's weird. Well, that sucks. It 
it's a great surprise for us if we order from the USA. What do you mean? So you get charged a custom charge? Just try to come through Amazon without customs there. How many sent it to AliExpress to they ship? Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. But don't forget, you know, they have clothing and electronics and, you know, everything else. Like, and most, you know, nine times out of ten, their electronics are name brand electronics with the name brand taken off. Like, in other words, if, if Sony makes a Sony camcorder type of camera, well, that's where it's made. You know what I mean? These are the manufacturers that are making the Sonys and the iPhones and all that. So you can get those things for a lot cheaper. They just won't have any of the markings on them. Or they'll make a generic, like, their own brand marking just so it has markings on it and stuff. But that's, you know, but they're perfectly fine stuff. You know what I mean? So that's why sometimes you'll look at, you know, they'll have a camera or something. You'll be like, that looks like a Sony camera. And you go and, you know, find out that that's what it is. It's a Sony camera. It just doesn't have the markings. You know, but then, of course, there are some sellers that sell cameras that look like Sony's that aren't exactly Sony. You know, they're just a, a bootleg of a Sony. So it just depends. You have to look at ratings and see what people think of, especially if you're going to buy something expensive. No, U.S. orders, if it's coming to the U.S., we don't have custom charges. I've never had one in eight years since I've been shopping on AliExpress. No. No, Freedom. You won't get a custom charge. To other countries, they do. They're talking about what they get in other countries. The potential to have custom charges in like Canada or whatever. But we won't. At least I've never had that happen so far. I've never had a custom charge ever. Not even on any other kind of mail. So I don't know. But alright, I'm going to go get off of here because I'm thirsty and I need to take Tigger out. I hope you guys had a good night. I had fun. I'll talk to y'all later. Sweet dreams, girl. Poodle Pack out.